Well, in 1948, a man who had been building cars for other companies like Mercedes and Volkswagen decided it was time to build one for himself. That man, Ferry Porsche, the car bearing his name, built this car, sports car number one from the Porsche factory here in Stuttgart, Germany. I'm with Achim Stateskel. Did I pronounce your name right? right? perfect. Sir. All right, not Thank bad. You. you don't know Norwegian name. Anyway, Achim is the manager of the Porsche Museum here in Stuttgart, Germany. And this is a place you definitely want to check out if you're coming to Germany because you can have millionaire dreams walking through here and it's the best window shopping in Germany. Tell me all about this museum and tell me in particular about these cars. Now these cars are classic, I understand, racing cars from right. the 70s, right? Right. The Porsche Museum was opened as early as 2008 in January, so this is really now a place. How many people come here? Uh, it's around 850,000 so far from oh, all okay. over the world. So tell me about the museum here. Uh, we provide um, all the history of Porsche combined in this really sophisticated building. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting because it's a it's a very interesting architecture. It's a, it's a lifted up a special uh, exhibition hall, mm -hmm. lifted up from the street level, and mm -hmm. we show here in a very clear way the complete history of Porsche and all mm -hmm. the cars, especially these cars uh, behind us. These are the strongest Porsche race cars ever built. What do you mean by strong? Like how, how strong? Uh, strong means uh, around 1,200 horsepower. So strong. To 1,200 horsepower? 1,200 up to 1,400 horsepower. So oh, they were man. so strong, especially in the Can Am series yeah. in the 70s, yeah. that they had to change the regulations because the Porsche cars were simply too strong. Really? Really. So like a game changer. They yeah, had to yeah, actually yeah. change I'm the not, rules? I'm or? not kidding. They changed the rules and uh, we were wow. not allowed any longer to, to participate. Yeah. So what is it? I mean, when you get in a car, try to paint a picture for me. If you're a race car driver and you get in a car with 1,400 horsepower, under your feet, what does that do for you? I mean, they, you gotta be thinking, boy, that could, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, that's not just getting in an accident. If you screw up, man, that's yeah. like, uh, you explode, right? You can imagine that uh, ancient race car drivers were really tough guys, but if they drive a car with around 1,400 horsepower, they were just afraid to drive the car and to yeah. start the car, because uh, one driver said yeah. to me, it was like uh, hitting by an elephant in the back yeah. when, when they hit on the yeah. gas. So it was really dangerous to drive the yeah. cars, but very successful for Porsche, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. The other thing is I found quite interesting with Porsche, and this isn't a commercial for you guys, but uh, Astrid is telling me that 70% of all Porsches ever built are still on the road today. Yes. I, I find, I don't know a lot about the numbers of cars, but that just, to me, sounds incredible. Because I, in my own lifetime, I've probably gone through five cars, and I know not one of them is on the road today. They're sitting in that great big metal heap somewhere uh, down in the scrapyard. But uh, I guess when you when you buy an exotic car, an expensive yeah. car, it tends to stay on the road for a long time, yes. right? You are absolutely right. This is this is a good advertisement for us because Porsche cars don't grow old; they get classics. And so, yeah. if you buy a, a current model today, be sure that within the next 25 years yeah. it will get a classic car, and the prices get or keep yeah. very very stable yeah. on, on the Porsche cars. Yeah. Wow, well, that's amazing. This is one of our biggest assets compared yeah. to the to the other car manufacturers. Yeah. Now listen, we've met. Uh, a few minutes ago, I met a guy by the name of Bob Stimson. He's a pilot for Delta Airlines, and he's just bought. Now, when you buy a Porsche, you can actually come here and pick and it up. And pick it up. Yeah, yeah, you can actually come here and pick yeah. it up, and then somehow you got to figure out how to. What do you ship it back for him to yes. uh, America? In this Porsche case, right? will arrange any shipment and yeah. any insurance things for for the guys, yeah. especially coming from from the states. Yeah, and it's it's great to pick up the car here in Stuttgart because since more than 60 years, the heart of Porsche is beating consistently exactly at this place. So right. it's like going back. To to the cradle of, of uh, yeah. and the birthplace yeah. of the Porsche cars. Yeah. Now, do you give them a, a little present? Do you get a little, uh, like course. a little birthday cake a or something? A lot of presents and, and yeah. of course, an admission ticket for the Porsche Museum. Yeah, okay. It's All included right. as well. <laughs> All right. Listen, Akam, thank you very much. My I'm pleasure. gonna go and talk to uh, Mr. Stimson, yes, see how he's doing with his metallic gray Porsche. Thank you Maybe for Maybe he'll visiting. give me a ride here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You pick up your car today? I am. Still for Austin? I did. I yeah. just did a, the factory tour. Wow. And uh, it's my third uh, Porsche, uh, a 356 A model in 1981, okay. and then a Boxster S in 2004. Okay. And now uh, a, a 2011 Carrera S, wow. meteor gray with uh, with uh, tan leather. So and very you saw exciting. you saw the car in the production line? I did. Wow. And yes. I think it must be finished in a in a few minutes. <laughs> I think. I'm very excited. Yeah. It's I, amazing. I, it's the too. birthday of the car. Too. 
<laughs> I'm excited with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it works. Let's take her for a drive. Okay. So that's it, I'm getting in. And uh, where's the uh, where's the key? No key. No key, just a no. uh, push button. 300,000 bucks and they don't give you a key? No. What kind of a deal is that? And now this is also, by the way, the 20th year of this car Carrera design, right? The 20th year of the Carrera design, so that makes this uh, somewhat special, I guess. And uh, we've got a, what's that red button for? Emergency? Yeah. Bob, I think you got, look at this guy, he's got a smile from, get a shot of Bob over here. Look at his smile over there. He's only a few hours away from picking up his Porsche. Exciting. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's nice. You got high beam up here. Speed. Alarm. Definitely need that. And uh, switch. So where's the uh, on off button? This is it? This turns oh, yeah. it on? That's it? That's All right. All right, we ready to go there? This is the intercom? No, no. Oh, okay, okay. All right, this one? This for uh, power. And yeah. here has a that's the starter button. Okay. Oh, we got a little. No, no, that won't be touching that. Don't worry, Bill. Okay. We've got a nice solid window in front of us. Okay. Hey, it's been nice knowing you. This car is Porsche number one, the source of many, many, many happy dreams right here in Stuttgart, Germany.